Hi everyone, today we are going to make angled elbow with fusion. Before we begin, I want you guys to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for future videos. So let's get into it. Let us start off by creating the base of the model. So go to create sketch, select the bottom plane, go to create drop down menu, select rectangle center rectangle select origin as your center create a rectangle give the dimensions as 3.75 on both sides as per our drawing click on finish sketch at the top right corner of the screen click on extrude and give distance as 0.5 next up we are going to make four holes on the base plate for that go to create sketch and uh, we are going to make a rectangle because holes are in rectangular pattern so select center rectangle select the origin as center and uh, give the dimension which is uh, 2. 6.2 and because it's a square I'm just going to use equal command from the constraint dialog box and name the adjacent side as equal now click left mouse button and drag select the rectangle and make it as construction click on finish sketch click home button now to create holes go to hold command from the create dialog box and select the four corners of the square we created and keep the diameter as 0.38 click ok next we have to give the fillet on the four corners so select fillet command and select the four corners use middle mouse button to rotate your object keep the radius as 0.56 and click ok our base plate is ready next we are going to draw a quick sketch for angled elbow so select the right plane go to create and select three point arc select the origin as first point and draw second point somewhere on left side of the sketch draw a horizontal line for reference and a line at an angle for reference now we are going to keep the distance as 4.88 which is the radius of the arc give the radius to the arc as well which is 4.88 as you can see the arc is not constrained so select the center point of the arc and snap it to the end of the line and give the angle to the angular line which is 45 degree and snap the end point of the arc on the line this completes our sketch and finish the sketch now go to create select pipe select the arc and change the oper operation as join give the section size as the diameter of the pipe and click OK. Select the top face and draw a circle which is of diameter 3.88 and exit the sketch. Click on finish. Now extrude it. The thickness is 0 0.5. Make sure you change the operation as join and click ok now to create the hole in the center i'm going to go to sketches and turn on the visibility of sketch i have previously created go to create and select pipe select the center arc change the operation as cut and give the diameter as section size which is 1.62 click ok as you can see our center hole is 
created now finally we have to create the slot on the top face so go to create select uh, the slot option and the center to center slot create slot approximately somewhere on the face snap the outer and give the distance as 0.38 and now as you can see the slot is not constraint so we are going to draw a reference circle which is at a diameter of 3.38 and we are going to snap this slot on the reference circle now as you can see there is a movement in the slot so draw a horizontal line as a reference line and snap the center of the slot end to the end of the line our sketch is constrained now go to extrude select the sketch of the slot and extrude in the opposite direction change the operation as cut go to create and select the circular pattern change the pattern type as feature and select our slot and select the axis as center circle and quantity as 4 click ok with this our model is completed if you find this helpful make sure to like and share and i will leave the cat drawing on my website so check out the description box below thank you for watching see you guys in the next video